in five seconds like 76 times 89 or maybe 99 times 95 see these are big multiplications but I think you guys are falling off your chairs because you heard I said five seconds right so let's get started Example. Let's say 24 times 36 and I want to see how fast it will take. She's doing the usual thing. Okay, let's do this. So first we need to do 6 times 4 then 6 times 2. Right? So we all know 6 times 4 is 24. But the we can't put 24 in the units place. So we need to put 4 in the units place and put the 2 up here. So now we have to do 6 times 2 which is 12. But don't forget the 2 up here. So 12 plus 2 is 40. What? 40. 144 is the first number. I'm going to get my eraser and erase the top lines while we get to the next number. Okay? So now we have to do 3 times 4, which is 12. So let's put the 2 here and the 1 up here. Right? And now we have to do 3 times 2 which is, we all know that it's really easy, six. So six plus one, because we have that one hanging up here. So six plus one is seven, am I right? So seven, and now let's add these together. Four, bring the four down because there's nothing there. Now we have to do four plus two, which is six. Yeah, the plus seven, so you guys know, I'm adding. And now one plus seven is eight. 864 is our right, let me write it neatly here. 864. See, you look at this, it's a long way to do this, right? But now, I'll show you a way easier way. Let me erase all this. Let's start with a simple example to show the trick of multiplying any two digit number. Let's start by doing 22 multiplied by 12. Okay, now we first need to start with three blocks. Okay, now we have three blocks. So, to fill the first blank, we need to do the multiplication of the first two numbers, and that is your first number in the answer. Okay, so, 2 times 1 uh, equals 2. That is the first number in our answer. Fill in the last blank with the multiplication of the last two numbers. So 2 times 2 is 4. So 4 is the last number in our answer. And now the middle blank is the sum of the multiplication of these two numbers. And these two numbers, 2 times 1 is 2. And 2 times 2 is 4. So 2 plus 4 is 6. And that's it. And that's your answer. 22 multiplied by 12 is 264. Isn't that super simple and super fast? Cool. Let's try another example. Now, let's clear my screen and draw 22 times 14. Okay, we have 22 times 14. Let's start with the three blanks again. Okay, now we have three blanks. So, the first number is always the multiplication of your first two numbers, which is 2 times 1 equals 2. 
Your last number is the multiplication of their last two numbers, which is 4 times 2, which is 8. Then, coming to the middle number, we have 2 times 4 equals 8, plus 2 times 1, which equals 2. So, 8 plus 2 equals 10. Since we cannot write 10 in one blank, write 0 here and carry forward 1. And add 1 to your first number. 2 plus 1 is 3, and our answer is 308. Now let's look at a little more complicated example with carryovers. Okay, so let's do 28 times 64. Okay, let's start with three blanks. Okay, now we have our three blanks. Your first number in the answer is the multiplication of the first two numbers, which is 2 times 6 which is 12. So write 12 in the first block. Then multiply the last two numbers, which is 8 times 4, and that equals 32. So because we cannot write 32 in the units place, write 2 in our last blank and keep the 3 here for now. And finally for the middle block. Same thing, multiply 2 times 4 equals 8, and 8 times 6 equals 48. And 48 plus 8, which equals to 56. And we already have 3, so 56 plus 3 is 59. Since you only have one blank here, write 9 and carry forward 5. So add 5 to your first number, so 12 plus 5 is 17, and our final answer is 1,792. I hope you got this very simple trick. So, isn't it so much fun? Now let me show you how the trick works so, so that we can do it really fast. Okay, 24 times 36, right? So we need to do three dashes. So let me move my eraser up. Three dashes. Good, for the first number in our answer, we have to do the multiplication of the first two numbers, which is three times two. And we all know three times two is six. Let's write the six here. Right? Now, let's do for the units place. We have to do 6 times 4. Just how we did for the first two numbers. Now we have to do for the units place, the last two numbers. So, 6 times 4 is 24. Right? So, we can't put 24 in the units place. You know that. So, let's put 4 here. And now let's carry two over 2 here. So, now we have to solve for the middle number. Right? The middle number will be the multiplication of 6 times 2 and 4 times 3 in this case. Okay? So, we all know 6 times 2, 12 plus, we have to do 4 times 3, which is 12, plus 12 equals 24, right? So, we can't, let me erase this, because, wait, I'll give us enough space. So if we write 24 here, that doesn't make sense, right? So instead of writing 24 here, we have to put the 4 here and carry over the 2 here. But since you see this 2 here, that has to add on to this. But let me fill it out on the bottom, okay? So 4 plus 2 is 6, bring the 4 down. And 2 plus 6 is 8. 864! That was the same answer we got on the regular rate. But you just notice this took way less time. So that's why I wanted to show you this trick. So it's so, okay, this is a really easy trick, but you need to practice it so you can easily calculate in your brain. So you can, like, let's say somebody gives you 99 times 99, you will be thinking, if you didn't know this trick, you'd be thinking for a very long time. But since I taught you this trick, you can do any two digit multiplication. Super easy.
right? I really hope you like this really simple math trick. If you want more math videos, please click that like button and click that subscribe button. Goodbye! Like I said, math is fun!